roughly 43 miles northwest of Amarillo. So we're kind of out in the middle of nowhere. We'll pick a date. Assuming the weather is correct, we check the upper level winds to make sure all that's good and everything's well. We have a wireless launch system. And so the launch pad itself will be a thousand feet away from where the crowd is standing for safety. Launch day and the countdown begins with planning, patience, and precision, plus their high altitude expectations, Beret Wheatley and his class carefully follow the guidelines of a strict protocol. You see, this is no average school project. This remote spot has been scrutinized and approved by the federal government for unheard of aerial achievements. We've been working on this project probably for 18 to 20 months. Remember, you don't want to get any grease on the face. That's true. Okay, so grease is on the side. It takes a lot of work to build a rocket completely from scratch, a rocket that will reach 40,000 feet and safely return to Earth. What's incredible is that the design and development all take place in a remote canyon tucked away in the Texas Panhandle. There's a big sign that says Boys Ranch and you can look down and pretty much you'll see trees because you really can't see the ranch for all the trees that are down there for the most part. But it's a pretty big little city, but most people just drive by it. There's no other place in the United States like Boys Ranch. It's in a total environment that's set up like home to help the kids. And I don't think that exists anyplace else. To the level that we do it. We have about 28 homes. 232 kids, so roughly six to eight kids maybe per home. There's house parents in every home. Some call Cal Farley the patron saint of compassion. He saw the healing properties of a remote property, rugged and isolated, and it's been a safe haven for children in crisis since 1939. There's a post office, there's a bank, uh, we have a chapel, Fire department, Boys Ranch is its own school district, so it's Boys Ranch ISD. So we are it. <laughs> we are its own self. It yes. is a city. It is a little city, yes. When it, the parachute yanks out, it's going to yank this way. Boys Ranch has always had a reputation for its rodeo, and now it's actually rodeo and rockets. After working decades in a corporate high-tech environment, Bear Ray Wheatley brought his high-altitude expertise and expectations to Boys Ranch. He had a background in amateur rocketry as a hobby, and Bear Ray began setting goals for these kids that went higher than anyone's wildest expectations. So because we have a 55,000 foot waiver with the FAA, we've had universities come out. Texas Tech has been here multiple times to launch. The University of Missouri has been out. Colorado State University has come out. So I had a university come out two years ago and I had some fifth graders, they were building this really big rocket. And the university came out and so one of the kids said, what is your rocket made from? And the guy said, it's a cardboard tube. And the kid said, so you didn't use fiberglass or carbon fiber? And the guy said, no, we don't know how to do that. And my fifth grader said, we can show you. <laughs> That's their normal day. So they don't know that they're great. They just think they're being, it's a normal day at Boys Ranch. I'll show you our first attempt. This was last November. We're a thousand feet away. Wow. So at this point, it's over 20,000 feet. Mach 2.2, 1,600, almost 1,700 miles an hour. So how many other high school kids are out there doing rockets and firing them 40,000 feet in the air? To my knowledge, there's not anybody else. I, I could be wrong, but I think we're pretty unique. Our airspace, because we're more than 30 miles away from Amarillo, is actually controlled from Albuquerque. So I contact Albuquerque to let them know about the rocket launch so they can Sir, monitor uh, the airplanes flying through the area. We have a NOTAM for unmanned rocket launch, and it's off of ZAB. Are you seeing that in your system? Okay. Is this the Cal Fire they launch? Yes. Yes, we've been uh, notified about that. Okay. We are now ready to launch. Okay, give us a countdown. Three, two, one. Lift off. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh. It's still going. You still got GPS data? It's back this way somewhere. 
We wait until we have the last GPS signal and the signal doesn't change. At that point, we load up all the kids in the van and we head off and go hunt for the rocket. At 62, I'm just a cheerleader for a bunch of kids. I'm in their corner going, rah, rah, you can do it. Not a bad job, huh? Not a bad job at all. Where this rocket landed was in an oil field. Oh, I see it too. I see it too. Yeah. It's right out here. There's oil tanks. There's all kinds of pipes and stuff we had to navigate around. I believe that's it. See that little piece of orange right there? I was surprised it landed as close as it did. I was expecting to have to walk two or three miles. Awesome, guys. The highest we've ever gone. 38,000 feet. Good job, team. <laughs> Honestly, they're like my own children. Appreciate you guys. I mean, I care about their success. I like to see them engaged in life and excited about life. And rocketry is one thing they get excited about. One of the young ladies that graduated here, she went into the military. And uh, when she graduated boot camp, she invited me to come to her military graduation. And she saw me. And she said, sir, you're here. Because out here, the kids, yes, sir, no, sir, that kind of. She, she said, sir, you're here. And I said, of course I am. I told you I'd be here. What's that thing that she told you, why she invited you? She told me because I was the closest thing she'd ever had to a father. How'd that make you feel? There's, there's not words for that, you know? There's really not. And then I'll leave it up to you. There you go. In the top, spin it, very good. I come to Boys Ranch every day because I don't work, I'm just doing what God made me to do. And that's a great way to spend my life. It may have been rodeo that put Boys Ranch on the map, but it's record setting rockets that's helping young people find an elevated sense of self worth. Rising high above the remote, rugged terrain of the Texas Panhandle, one red rocket carries a payload of hopes and dreams of a future with no boundaries to stand in the way. It reminds me why I'm here. It reminds me that for me personally, the most important thing I can do is make a difference in somebody else's life. I love that story. Me too, and we've got plenty more where that came from. Just click on the subscribe button and keep traveling with us.